Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're enjoying your summer. Now, no other fruit epitomizes summer to me like a bright red strawberry. Now, there's not too many plants in your garden that are as prolific as an ever-bearing strawberry mother plant. So in this video, I wanna talk about making more strawberry plants. Specifically, making more strawberry plants from seed. Now, as you saw in the previous video, the most common way to propagate strawberries is to simply take the runners off of the mother plants as they grow out during the season. Now, that works great if you only need a few plants and time is of the essence, but if you need dozens or even hundreds of plants like I do, then you gotta resort to seeds. Now when you're doing strawberries from seeds, there's a couple things you gotta note. The strawberries are self-pollinators in that they don't need other plants um, to fertilize and pollinate the flowers to make the fruit. Now that's fine, but it doesn't mean that a strawberry can't be a hybrid. So when you're taking seeds, it's always preferable to use strawberries from your own patch rather than strawberries from the store. The strawberries from the store, you have no idea what varieties they're using. You have no idea what strawberry plants those will grow up to be. So knowing that, and knowing you want to take strawberries from your own patch, you need to know what strawberries to take. Now, here's a typical strawberry from this plant here. You know, pretty red. I'd say, you know, ready to eat either today or tomorrow. And you'd think, hey, this is a great specimen to take seeds from. Well, you might be right. You might get some germination out of this guy. But to maximize your germination, you're going to want to let the fruit sit for another three to five days past when you would pick it to eat. Same with this guy. You know, ready to eat. My mouth is watering just looking at it. But not quite a candidate for taking your own seeds. So I've only got three plants of this particular strawberry variety. It's called Berries Galore. And I want to make about a thousand plants for next year. And so I got to really be picky, you know, about the strawberries that I use because I want to maximize my germination rates. Now, I've scoured the three plants um, before starting this video. And there's actually only one strawberry uh, that is a candidate for taking seeds from today. And he's right in here. Now... This is the perfect strawberry to take seeds from. So I've grabbed that strawberry. Let's head to the greenhouse for a closer look and I'll tell you why this is the kind of strawberry you need to pick for seeds. So this guy's a few days past ripe and he is the perfect candidate for taking seeds from. Now, if you look closely, you can see how those seeds are raised up, you know, almost like if you look at them the wrong way, they'll pop off on their own. You know that each one of these seeds is going to germinate 100%. You know, the seeds are bigger, they're fuller, they've taken all the nutrients that they need, you know, from that mother fruit. And they're ready to start their life as a new strawberry plant. So taking your seeds off these guys is very easy and you can do it one of two ways. Now, if I want to take the seeds now, I can simply prick them off, you know, with a sharp object, maybe a pencil, a barbecue skewer, um, tweezers, whatever you got. Or I can let this dry out um, after I pick it for about three to four more days. And then you can simply rub this in between your thumbs and all the seeds will pop off. So I don't really have time to wait for this to dry out. So I'm going to prick a few of these guys off um, to show you how it's done. So now what you do with the seeds is just as important. Now I always lay my seeds out after I take them on a fresh sheet of white paper. You never want to use paper towel. Uh, the seeds can stick to it if they're wet and it's impossible to get it off. So just use regular white paper, uh, newsprint. 
you know, preferably unprinted because if it does stick to the newsprint, you can often lose these little guys, um, you know, in the printing and the pictures of, of regular newspaper. So you just go ahead and dab this guy on there. Now you, what you want to do is separate it from the flesh. Yeah. Just like that. So this method is a lot more labor intensive um, than waiting for the fruit to dry and then just squishing it in your thumbs and watching all the seeds pop off. But, but I need to get two of these trays started right away. So I'm going to do it this method um, for two 98 cell trays. And then for the remaining, you know, seven or 800 plants, um, I'll pick a few strawberries and then just wait for them to dry up. Okay, so we have a couple dozen rows of a couple dozen seeds. We can go ahead now and plant these guys into the cell containers. Okay guys, so we've collected the seeds. I've got my 98 cell uh, tray here and I've got a potting mix here. Let's just go ahead and fill up all these cells. Now, you're gonna wanna use a fine potting mix. Um, you can buy seedling mixes at the um, at the nursery or you know places like Home Depot home hardware um, or you can simply make your own um, seedling mix uh, I got a couple of videos on how to do that you know it's really really basic stuff so what I do is I loosely fill all the cells. Like so, it's a bit of a mess, but that's okay. And then I go around and I push them down. Now, the reason I do that is because when I go to wet this, if I don't do that, this soil will sink and it'll sink so much that the cells will only be about half full, which, you know, for some plants isn't enough uh, for their roots to get going. So after you've depressed all the cells, you just go back and refill it all. You take the excess off. There you go. So you're going to want to pre-soak this guy. I simply just use rain water or if you can get it, pond water. I've got a couple of rain barrels over here uh, actually with fish in them. So it makes a great water source. So I usually fill it up with about four liters. That gets the... Uh, all the cells good and wet. So let's leave that for about 20 minutes. We'll come back and we'll start planting our seeds. Okay, so this potting mix is good and damp. What you're gonna wanna do now is go around and make a little depression, you know, about half an inch deep in each of these cells. And that's where you're gonna put the seed in. Okay, so now that you've got the depression in each of the cells, you can go around and put a seed in each one. Just try and get them in each hole. Okay, so now that you've got a seed in each depression, you just go around with your fingers and close up each one of those holes two at a time. And you see how you can do, you know, dozens of trays at a time in quick order. 
So when you're doing these strawberries from seed, you're gonna wanna do them anywhere from the first berries in the spring to about, you know, midsummer. Now it doesn't matter how early you take them, these plants are not gonna get big enough to bear fruit the same year you germinate them. But depending on where you live, you do want them to grow big enough and strong enough so that they can survive the winter and then bear fruit the following spring. So these guys in a typical scenario will take about two weeks to germinate. You can do them straight into four inch pots, but I always prefer these cell containers for any types of seeds like this. You know, it's just easier. So here's a small bed that I just planted maybe about two to three weeks ago from last year's seedlings. These guys are already producing and I just put all these plants in here, you know, maybe three weeks ago. I feel like it was less than 20 days though. So really cool bed. And this plant does not send out runners uh, very readily. So I had to do this guy from seed. Very happy with the results so far. Next year, uh, this bed will be huge and it'll just be teeming with berries, uh, thousands of them. So that's it for today, guys. That's your crash course in growing strawberries from seed. Now, the quick takeaways from the video, you're not gonna wanna do it from store-bought strawberries. They could be hybrids. You have no idea of what those strawberries are gonna grow into. So you're gonna wanna take them from a known berry patch, preferably your own. Remember to take the seeds from over-ripened fruit the seeds are easier to take that way and you ensure 100% germination. You need to put them into a pre-soaked seedling mix and preferably do them into seedling trays. It's far easier than doing them into big pots and you can do many more at a time. You're gonna to wanna to collect the seed as soon as possible in the season simply because you wanna get these plants as big as possible before winter hits. Now they're not gonna flower and produce fruit in the first season. It'll be next year until you get your fruit but the more you can get these plants established and the bigger they get, the more fruit you're gonna get the following year. As always guys, leave any questions or comments down below. I'd love to hear how you grow strawberries. What's your favorite varieties? Have you done them from seed? Have you only done them from runners? Basically anything strawberries, throw it in the comments down below. Click subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that have, I really do appreciate the support guys. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.